Hi there. Okay, Melanie, Windmill Vintage Designs in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and here I am. So, <clears throat> what I was doing, I started waxing this beautiful step back cupboard, and I wanted to pop on here to show some of you who are new to waxing or haven't really used DIYs wax, what happens when we use this wax. So this is called the wax freakout factor, and it, it is, it's a seriously, it's a real thing. Um, when you start waxing, everything kind of changes. So do you see the inconsistency here? You see how blotchy it looks? So some people are gonna freak out, right? And then they're just gonna be like, ah! What they're gonna do is they're gonna keep applying wax, trying to make it look solid. And don't do that, just don't, okay? because you don't need to. All of that is going to dry to a consistent shine high tammy um, and it'll be fine. So once this all soaks in, it'll be good and we can go back and buff it a little bit. And um, yeah, it's gonna be fine. So I just wanted to pop on here, thought we'd do a little bit of waxing. If anybody's new to waxing and you have any questions, please let me know. Um, meanwhile, I'm just gonna climb up my, my, uh, my ladder here because this thing is big. So again, I'm using um, Debbie's Design Diaries. This is the clear, and it's gonna give this a nice protective layer on here. Um, I have two different brushes, actually. I have a big one and a small one. These are the wax brushes that I use, and um, because the smaller one's gonna get in my little groovy dudes, and the bigger one's gonna cover more surface area so I can get more done, because getting it done is what the whole point is, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and get, so you can see, just dip in there. And um, I don't have a ton on my brush. There's probably, I don't know, maybe half of my brush covered right now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And um, I'm just gonna rub this in. So a lot of people do circles. Some people go up and down. I tend to do both. Um, and we're just gonna get it on. So you can see how inconsistent that looks and that's okay, it's gonna dry fine. As long as you don't put it on too, too heavy, that's a big problem people have. I want to see that color change, but I don't need to see it all become the darkest of the colors that we see. So when you, the DIY paint, the clay-based paints are very, well, there's a lot of clay in there. So they're going to dry a little bit lighter than what you see in your jar. And then when you put your wax on, or your sealer for that matter, they're gonna go ahead and darken back up. Probably not gonna darken all the way to what they look like when they are wet, but pretty close. Hi Freya. Um, say hi as you come in. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know, okay? And I will do my best to answer them for you. And if not, I'll answer after. So what are you guys doing on your Saturday? Anything fun? Waxing. Hi, Mary. Um, whoa. Oops. So you don't need to get crazy and start throwing wax all over the place like I just did. That will just get that on. So you get a little bit of an arm workout too while you're waxing. That's always fun. And you get to climb up big ladders. I just thought it was important that I show this because I do hear about people freaking out about this and then I hear about them also just I guess that's my biggest point is don't try to fix it don't try to put a ton hi Elizabeth on there um, because you're gonna end up putting too much wax and um, then you're gonna either have to wait a very long time for it to dry or you're gonna have to go back and take some of it off so once I have all this on here, it'll probably be ready for me to buff um, because that's how fast it's gonna dry for me. I'm in New Mexico. Um, yay, awesome, Tammy. I missed that. I didn't get to see that. I'll have to try to go check that out. All right, I guess I'll go up here and then I'm gonna have to move my ladder. Okay, I'm gonna get down this one. 
Okay, moving on. So, hi, Sandy from North Africa. Tun, how do you say that? Tunisia? Tunisia. I don't know, but hi. <laughs> That's awesome. So cool that we can connect like, like this. I love that. I think that's awesome. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do that corner up there and um, I don't know, maybe we'll call it good. Hi from New York. That's cool too. Hi, Mary. Okay, so again, getting this wax on here. Okay, so you can see it's a pretty fast process. It doesn't take too, too long. It does take a little bit of muscle. Hi, Callie and Jill. So we're gonna move on over here now. And start this one. I guess we'll start from the top on this one and go down. Thinking my wardrobe choice probably wasn't the best. I'm sorry about the belly shots, because I'm sure they're getting. Isn't that crazy how much it changes it though so fast let's see thanks hi mandy i'm gonna pull you guys a little bit closer i just love waxing though because it's just like i mean it's amazing how much how dramatic it changes everything right away let's try that <coughs> i don't have my good tripod with me so You'll stop swaying in just a minute, I'm sure. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, so this is Farm Fresh that I painted it with by DIY. And now I'm using DIY's Lax to, um, to go ahead and seal this. I may end up going back and putting a little bit of dark whack in the, um, in the antiquing areas, but I'm not really sure yet. I don't know. I kind of like the way it looks with just the distressing, so I'm not, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I will go back and buff this, and I'll probably use my rotary buffer because it is so large. I'm gonna save me a little bit of a workout, you know? You guys see, or am I blocking the whole thing? Who doesn't love green? Well, a lot of people, apparently, if you leave my last post. I asked everybody what their, um, color they hate that everybody else loves and green was one of them. This doesn't like feel green to me. I don't know. I mean, I know it's green, but it's not like green, like John Deere green, or, you know, that's green. So all my local people, if you guys don't know, I do have my DIY paint in now. Yay, hi Nettie. Um, so we finally got a big order in. If you've been waiting on DIY and coming over and we've been short on it, fear not, we, have, we finally have it. So that is good. And we have Sal, why is that Sal? But we're kind of stopped right now. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Hi Kathleen, thank you. Hi Melissa. So, um, yeah, so back to it. If, you, if you're just coming on now, what I'm doing, I'm just waxing, showing what the wax freakout factor is. It's a real thing, but not to be afraid. It does, turns out fabulous. So don't worry, it'll be okay. Get down off of this and move this out of the way. I want to paint a whole something relic. Hi. <laughs> You're welcome, Nettie. 
nice and waxed up. Okay, so we'll go down over here. And if you feel like you got too much, like I just got quite a bit on my brush, so I'm just gonna really keep spreading until, until my brush doesn't feel like I have too much on it anymore, which is okay too. So as you can see, if you check it out over here, so, um, hi Melissa, this is Farm Fresh. Oops, I don't wanna pop you out of my holder. If I turn you and look you down, so this is where I started. Remember when I first came on, I had just done this spot. You know, I can already see how it's drying and it's evening out. So that's what's gonna happen. The more it dries, the more it's just gonna even out. And by, I don't know, a few hours, it'll be completely even. And um, you won't be able to even see where I, you know, that I put wax. It'll just look all nice and good. Oh man, I just dropped the hinge thingy. So isn't this the funnest cabinet? I just think it's so cool. So big and good. No, it's like magic, I think. Oh, you can't even see. Ah, my bangs are long, Nettie. I think I'm going to have to cut them. You're going to have to cut them. Thanks, Beth. Yeah, I think it's time. I don't... I had to actually do my hair today for it to look decent, and I'm not okay with that. I don't want to have to do it. I just want to... I just want it to be good, you know, right out of the shower. Nettie's my hairdresser, Annette... If you guys don't know, she now fix me up again. And my grays are coming out. Okay, guys. So I'm not sure how much waxing you want to watch, but I'm going to be at it for a little bit. I have a long way to go. But I could come back on, uh, but you know what, before I leave today, the store, I'll, um, I'll come back on and show you what it looks like when it's either all dry or almost dry. So I'm not sure exactly what it will be by that point. And um, we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay, so let's just finish up this one little spot. And you guys get a visual of what it looks like when it's a hot mess with the wax in different stages of drying. And we can come back on and see what it looks like. So for any of you guys who are afraid to try wax, I don't want you to be afraid. Wax is a wonderful alternative to a sealer and it is very durable. There's all these rumors that go around about how it's not and that's not true at all. So don't be afraid of waxing. Also, if you want the look of wax, but you want a sealer, you can always wax after you seal if you feel the need to do that. So that is it. Over and out. Thank you guys. I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.